Hello. This is Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie. Hello. Today's video, which um, I was sitting here in the car crocheting my fingerless gloves and working up one of the graphs, uh, the graph jams. And I'm just uh, not following a pattern. I'm just winging the fingerless gloves. But I'm watching the YouTube videos, catching up, and Bridget, she tagged me in the 20 questions. Yay! No! <laughs> so, I figured, okay, it's my turn. So, here goes. Number one, what does my name mean? Well, my name is Charlene, and it means, um, I, I just had to look that up because I was like, wait, what? So, the, the meaning of Charlene is Freeman. It is the feminine word of Charles, but it originated in uh, Germany and England, and all, there's also a, um, uh, yeah, so that's what that means. I'm a free man. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, where am I from? Originally, Long Island, New York, from a little town called Northport. And then when I got older, I had bought a house in Selden, in Long Island. Not on, in Long Island. And then uh, the divorce happened and I moved to Pennsylvania. Then we have, where was I born? Again, Long Island. Uh, in Smithtown Hospital. Uh, <laughs> number four. What would I have been named if I was a boy? Charles. <laughs> After my daddy. He was hoping and praying for a boy. So when I get mad, I have a sailor's mouth like a boy. And But, yeah. So they went the female version, Charlene. My biggest accomplishment, I would have to say, um, <laughs> I did drop out of high school, because uh, at the time, and I, I, if I had to do it all over again, I would do it exactly the same way. Uh, I had dropped out of high school, but uh, I went back. I, I got pregnant, and I did the home study course for getting my diploma, and I did it, and I passed with flying colors. And yeah, that is my one of my biggest accomplishments. But I can't find the hole in this thing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, besides the kids, besides crocheting, it would have to be that, going back to school and getting my diploma. And then I went on and I got a diploma and also a children's writing guild for writing articles for children. Um, my eye color. See, that's a tricky question. I know you can't see it right now. See? <laughs> they are hazel, but they're also known as cat's eyes because they change colors. Um, 
supposedly uh, cat's eyes you could see better at night but well maybe but yeah mine change colors depending on my mood on my what I'm wearing they could be blue they could be green they can have a darker black rim that just I love my eyes I think that's one of my best features yeah except for the hidden eyelid as I say I need it gone <laughs> um my favorite candle scent is that Hawaiian halua or aloha um, Glade makes it and I love it it's oh I, everything I get is all over the house and then the second favorite anything berries anything berries eight can I cook yes I can famously like open my own restaurant no mm -mm. but don't ask me to cook a meatloaf because kids will turn around and say oh look mom's making an armadillo again and what I mean by that <laughs> is one one day I was gonna make a meatloaf and you know how you're multitasking and you're like oh crap gotta do this and you, you going off memory with the ingredients and everything else and you're paying attention but you're not well somebody put in too too, <laughs> too much breadcrumbs in the meatloaf so when it came out of the oven it was a little hard <laughs> so it, it had like an armadillo shell so whenever I make meatloaf it's oh look mom made armadillo <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, number nine. What is good about my life right now? Uh, I'm breathing. I'm alive. I'm still in contact with all the children. It's because they live with me. And the grandchildren. Uh, but no. Even though I have the fibromyalgia now. The medical problems, the kids have medical problems. I still try to look at the positive side of things and everything is good right now. I won't say it, that's a jinx, I'm superstitious. But uh, yeah, things are pretty good. All right, and then we got, what's my sign? <laughs> my sign is here is your stupid sign no I am <laughs> I am a Virgo yes well mannered well tempered well Virgos are supposed to be OCD but um no not me mm -mm. certain things yes like a pet peeve is I have to check three times, even though I know it's not in there. I have to open the microwave three times to make sure I did not put a fork or a spoon in there before I hit the start button. And I know damn well there ain't one in there, but I still gotta do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is scaring me about aging? Uh. Well, aging in itself, but it's not losing my looks. I'll always have my looks. <laughs> no, what scares me is having to depend on somebody. <sighs> not being able to move, not being able, losing my mind. Yes, that is what scares me. But... I'm going to make the best of it, I guess, you know, it, it will be what it will be. Uh, my favorite holiday? 
Halloween. Love dressing up. Love the religion behind it. The Samhain and uh, and whatnot. And maybe one day I'll fill you all in on why it's my favorite. But not now. And my second would be Christmas. Um, yeah. Not paying the bills part of it, but Christmas morning and seeing their faces of giving. And, yeah. My guilty pleasure? <laughs> chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Anything chocolate. Milk chocolate. Even when I'm upset and Jeff sees me upset, he buys me chocolate. Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups and makes it all better. <laughs> <laughs> what do I like to binge watch that would be Netflix TV shows that have already ended um, right now I just got done binge watching NCIS but then I went to True Blood Vampire yeah, I won't say that P word. Uh, true blood. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Ah, 15. What can I leave? Can't leave the house without. That would be yarn and a hook. Mm hmm. I got the phone. I got everything else. The pad, the paper, the pen. The bu -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I will get in the car. Realize I did not bring it any type of yarn with me and I will run in and grab even if it's a skein of yarn and a hook and nothing's on it it's gotta be something pocketbook or a whip bag am I a morning or a night person night all the way forgetting the fact that I work overnights I have always become awake, alert, aware at night. And I just, I've tried, I've tried to be a morning person and that would last about a week and then I'm like, mm, no, uh-uh. And then, what is my favorite genre of movies? Supernatural. I love me some Supernatural. Especially werewolves that have nice shoulders and abs and... Oh, wait. I'm getting off subject. <laughs> oh, yes. So, Supernatural. Because my favorite is fairies. Uh, let's see. The last thing that I bought, which is being delivered tomorrow, is a yarn from Walmart. I needed the furry yarn for the scooty hats. And then we got introvert or extrovert. That would be a little bit of both. Uh, I have a problem with crowds. Okay, so where was I? Oh, introvert and extrovert. I'm a little bit of both. Um, I have anxiety in crowded places, but can handle it as long as it's not for too long and I can find a corner or a wall to go and find myself again for five minutes and then I can come back out but otherwise I just sit at home yeah all right and number 20 my favorite book <laughs> I have two Two series. First is Twilight, Supernatural, and I'm not sure if I can say this, but I'm going to anyway, because it's just a name. Uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Those two series are about equal of being my favorite. 
I have the books, and I read them over and over and over and over. The movies did them no justice. And there is my 20 questions. Yay! Ooh. Applause sound. <laughs> Don't have it. <laughs> Let's see. I got all that while talking. <laughs> now I get to tag somebody. Now there's a lot of people out there that I watch, I like, and I would love to tag every single one of you. But I'm going to have to go with... Ah... <sighs> See, I opened my list, and there, because the Bridget tagged me, I can't do her. And thanks a lot, Bridget. <laughs> I'm going to tag Jane from Scraptastic Yarns. You know you love me. And I'm also going to tag... Petra, from Petra's Happy Place, and Sandy, from Crochet A Canada. <laughs> now that the screen is probably all wet, <laughs> those are the ones that I tag. Um, enjoy. I can't wait to see the answers to your 20 questions, and I got the rim done, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a little more, yeah, no more, fit it in there, eh, it's a little tight, but one or two more, so it is that time I have to say au revoir, au deux, ciao, sayonara, it is time for work, Ooh, try not to get too close, <laughs> Hey. <laughs> we'll put the hat on. Oh. Nope, it's sideways. Okay. Ah. It is 29 degrees out. Yeah. It's a little cold. But I have my heated vest, so my hat, my gloves, my hand warmers. I'm looking into getting heated gloves and heated pants. <laughs> but for now, I got my heated vest. I just got to turn it on, hit the button. But okay. Take care. Have a great night. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.